the Pen Peninsula campaign of offers an absolute treasure trove of historical battles and skirmishes for you to recreate on a tabletop. Um, from the big sort of battles like Salamanca or the Siege of Badajoz, um, down to really small scale sort of engagements, uh, you know, between guerrilla wolf, guerrilla ram units, and sort of skirmishes. So there's a quite a diverse range of scenarios you can play out as a wargamer, um, which you could build into a campaign. Um, the good thing as well is there are a lot of things like historical maps uh, and a lot of historical material to research in order to create your own um, battles or skirmishes. Um, and that's one of the great things about this period. And then one of the great things about the, the Peninsula campaign, there is an absolute plethora of historical material to draw on for helping with to create, recreate um, battles and as well as create your own scenarios and skirmishes and sort of engagements within this um, period of the, of the Napoleonic Wars. Another good aspect of this uh, campaign and this, and this particular um, period of, of the Napoleonic um, Wars was is the terrain. The variety of terrain on the Iberian Peninsula allows for some interesting gameplay and interesting engagements on the tabletop. We have everything from the sort of rugged Pyrenees to fortified cities such as Ciudad Rodrigo and Al Alamedia. Um, so you've got a good variety of terrain and options for playing out games in this, in, in this um, campaign. Uh, you have the ability to in incorporate hills, woods, small bridges, villages um, to replicate some of the uh, terrain areas. I mean, you could literally be fighting one one battle if you're fighting over a small footbridge because it gives access to a, a across a particular river and it's strategically vital, right through to sort of a small town city siege. Uh, and there's quite a few manufacturers out there that produce suitable terrain that will work within this for, for this campaign in this period. Uh, and you've got a good variety of different terrain types. You, you've got like scrubland, woodland, mountains, as well as urban um, settings for your terrain. Uh, so it allows you a good variety of different games to play out. Um, whilst campaigning around the peninsula. To war game this period, um, it really, the rule set will depend on the sort of scale you want to play out. If you're looking to play out some of the more guerrilla warfare and small scale skirmish, then there are quite a few options out there. Um, there's Chosen Men, as I talked about in previous episodes, and by Osprey, there's Sharp Practice by Two Fat Lardies. And these will give you um, a good set of rules for recreating those sort of engagements. If you're looking to go recreating Talavera or Badajoz, then you may be looking at rules that are more designed for large scale battles such as Absolute Emperor by Osprey or other Grand Army and stuff like that, other rule sets that are literally designed for um, brigade and divisional and core level war games. What the Peninsula um, campaign allows greatly for is you to, to run a, a campaign of your own. Um, rather than playing sort of one-off games, you could play a series of um, games set within that period and that and in, uh, within the Iberian Peninsula. Uh, and because, like we talked about before, about the different terrains, you could have a whole variety of different types of 
battles, or skirm or and skirmishes within your campaign, and they'd all be different. You could all be different each time, um, and it allows the players to sort of experience the ebb and flow of the campaign. Sort of, um, you could use bring in rules to stimulate things like logistics, reinforcements, troop movements, and objectives that both sides need to capture in order to be declared the overall winner. Uh, and, and this will bring in a whole new sort of dimension into your into your games. So rather than just playing one-offs, play a campaign, and the peninsula is great for that. A great, great sort of. But, um, campaign period for you to play a campaign of your own um, and you could follow um, the actual campaign that were the, the British and Fen fought or you could play it out a sort of what if style um, it was really entirely up to whatever you want to play out really so playing for the Peninsula campaign um, Allows for some good challenges for a war gamer. Um, there's a lot of different styles of um, engagements you could play out, um, and if you compile this into a cam campaign of your own between the play you and your players, it could be quite an interesting uh, um, and fun uh, aspect to play. Uh, and the peninsula gives you some really good options. Uh, for getting in and playing a variety of different styles of, of battle um, everything from sort of small skirmish right up to sieges on top of that you could bring in historical commanders now, um, there were a lot of famous commanders that fought during the Pen peninsula period and I mean uh, Wellesley came to prominence during this campaign Salt on the French side fought during the peninsula. You had other commanders you know, on the British side, just picked them. So the, the, you can bring in historical generals and commanders and leaders. You could even bring in fictional characters such as Richard Sharp um, and Harper if you wanted to. It also allows for those that enjoy making terrain. There's a lot of scope for a variety, creating a variety of different terrain or, um, elements for your table for your um, tabletop. Um, Spain has a good variety of different um, terrain from scrub, woodland, mountains. So there's there's a lot of potential for there some creativity for those who enjoy terrain making. Um, and the other one is that. If you're one of those gamers that likes to play a variety of different scales, then campaigning in the peninsula will give you that ability to play games at 6mm all the way up to games in 28mm as part of your um, campaign. So it's one of the reasons why I, when you know, when people said to me, what, what area do you want to play of the Imperionics period? Because it's quite a lot. I mean, you know, you could go to Russia play the Russian campaign, you could play the, um, some of the battles in other parts, of, say in Italy, or other parts of Europe. For me, it's the peninsula. Um, and that's because um, I'm a big fan of Sharp, so that is one big influencing factor. And the other fact is, is that I, I like that ability to play big battles, but also play some skirmish with guerrilla um, warfare and, and sort of riflemen and stuff like that which the peninsula kind of allow, allows you the ability to do so so that's basically the peninsula um, fighting in the peninsula trying to bring it to the tabletop don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time